Hi, I'm Gay. Hey guys, it's Itchy. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be answering your questions about coming out of the closet while sitting in my closet. <laughs> um, so yeah, I use the website Curious Cat where people can send in anonymous questions and you can answer them. But instead of answering them on the website, I'm going to be answering them in this video. I've done this before with a couple other videos that I'll link below where I did this type of thing, but this is going to be a more serious type of video. Um, this channel, uh, I recently kind of started putting all my videos on this channel, but I have an old channel that I did a bunch of videos about LGBT related things. And although that channel is not what I post videos on anymore, um, I'm going to be linking down my coming out videos. I have two videos that I made a while back, so probably more stuff is kind of updated now but I think you'll get the gist of the actual coming out process that I went through. So we're just gonna go right through the questions. I wrote down 15 questions and I'm just gonna answer them as they were given to me. I tried putting them in order of what I thought was related to each other, but it wasn't really working out and I'm just gonna answer them as they are. So the first question is, how long after you came out did you get your first girlfriend? I actually dated girls before I came out. So I was in the closet dating girls. Uh, for a long time I thought I was bisexual, so I was dating girls. And the one boy, I didn't really think I was bisexual. I knew I was gay, but didn't want to admit it to myself. So I dated one boy in this period. But when I was 15, that's when I had my first girlfriend. And then I dated uh, two more girls at that point. And then I kind of like had little flings with girls. I never really had a serious relationship during this time. Um, but I had like a girl that I dated for like three months and then one that I dated for like six months. Turns out the six month one was cheating on me the whole time. So I don't know if you want to count that, but so before I came out, I was dating girls. Um, and I also want to mention, like I said, I do have a coming out video, but I, there was a long period, uh, between different types of coming out. So I came out to my friends, close people, came out to my family, and then I came out to the world. So just talk about that quickly. Um, the first like two and a half years that I knew I was gay, I started telling close friends and things like that. And at one point, pretty much all my friends knew. And then the summer after my junior year, I told my family, um, my intermediate family, my siblings and my parents, and a few other close people in my family. Um, and then that year, a couple more people in my family found out. And then that summer, um, the Pulse shooting happened. And uh, if you don't know what that is, that was a nightclub, a gay nightclub that got shot. Uh, people got shot in the club and about two days after that I decided to come out to the world on Facebook and let everybody know that I was out and I was proud because I felt like a lot of people in that club probably never had the chance to do that and unfortunately died with that secret. Obviously it wasn't a secret anymore because people found out where they died but um, I really just was feeling a lot of pain at that time for those people and I decided to come out after that happened. So that was the end of my senior year and if you guys aren't from America and don't know like what I'm trying to say freshman year is your first year of high school you're about 14 to 15 sophomore year you're about 15 to 16 that's your second year your third year is junior year 16 to 7 years old about and senior year is your last year of high school and that's 17 to 18 years old so that time frame um, I started coming out from about 14 to 18 years old so it took me about four years to come out to everybody I would say actually about three years I would say I think I had turned 15 when I started kind of figuring things out sorry that this might be confusing um, but like I said I have a full video down below that I will link how long did it take you to be comfortable to tell people um, I kind of just answered that I would say but after I came out after the pole shooting I was comfortable telling anybody and everyone who asked or questioned it or whatever um, I started wearing like shirts and going to Pride and posting pictures with Pride and like stuff like that. So after that, when I came out, um, I was kind of comfortable telling everybody. How do you come out to someone that would probably take it as a joke? Um, I would just kind of be serious and say, hey, I have something important to tell you and I don't want you to like laugh. This is kind of really something serious that I want to discuss with you, a personal conversation and go from there. Do you think coming out will affect your relationships with everyone and everything like you won't hide anymore and the freedom will change you? I don't think it will change you, it will make a better you. It will make a more comfortable you, a more confident you. For me, that's what I did. It did. I have this period where I was very uh, stereotypical lesbian, I guess. Like I wore flannels and 
snapbacks, I was kind of uh, pushing towards this frame of like masculine because I felt very feminine like this whole time like I had to be this like girl this straight girl and then when I was like I'm gay I like really embraced that so there was a short period where I was like look at this look what I can do and then I kind of died down and was like wait I can do both I don't have to be I was like afraid of being feminine almost when I came out because I was like I felt trapped in being feminine my whole life so now that I had the opportunity to be a little more masculine or like kind of uh androgynous it was this weird balance and now I'm kind of like you know what I can dress however the f I want and can look however the f I want so I don't think it will change you it will make a better you and I don't think it will ruin your relationships if anything it will make them stronger because I think having a secret is really hard and if anyone's in the closet I get it and it's hard and keeping that secret is hard was it difficult for you to come out um I think the hardest part was accepting it myself and before you can come out to anyone else you need to accept it for yourself well coming out to people that you're like hey I'm questioning this like your friends is fine but if you're gonna come out to a large group of people or your family or people that you're like a little worried about you need to be confident in yourself so that when people say things you can handle it and you don't question yourself because if you're coming out and you're a little rocky about it um, and I'm not talking about your close friends, I'm talking about like coming out to people that you're afraid to come out. Um, and these people question it or say things, it could like really make you feel shaky. So you need to be comfortable in coming out to yourself before you can come out to those people that you're afraid to come out to. So was it difficult for you to come out? Like I said, the hardest part was accepting it myself and once I accepted it myself, didn't really care. I think that it was hard coming out to my family, not because I didn't think they were going to accept me because they accepted me so much. But it felt like once I came out to my family, that was it. I was who I was going to be and there was no like turning back it felt like. Because that was like a serious step. Um, and yeah, because I feel like oftentimes telling your parents something or something like that, it's a big thing. Like, you know, you can tell your friends something that can change and stuff like that. But for me, it felt like when I come out to my family, I'm out. Like, this is it. This is the final step. Um, so that's kind of what it felt like, but my family was very accepting. There are gay people in my family and they were fine with it So I didn't think that they were going to not accept me, but yeah When is the latest age for someone to be in a relationship? There's no age you can be single your whole life You can be in relationships your whole life. You can have your first kiss when you're 12 You can have your first kiss when you're 42. It doesn't matter people seem to like we live in a society where these things are so important like losing your virginity having your first kiss when did it happen what were the dates it doesn't matter like if you really think about it you touching your lips to somebody else people care so much about like it does not matter so being in a relationship doesn't matter you do you you live your life there are no ages nothing to be ashamed of anything like that there's no late age there's no early age just kind of exist what do I do if I'm unsure about my sexuality? This is a big question for a lot of people. Just experiment. I'm not necessarily saying experiment with people, but like in your head and in yourself and just kind of think about things, but don't put a pressure on it. If you want to like a girl, like a girl. If you want to like a guy, like a guy. You want to like a non-binary person, like a non-binary person. You don't need to label yourself. A term that a lot of people use, but some people don't like this term, is the term queer. I understand a lot of people see that as a slur, but it hasn't been for a long time. It's just been reclaimed mostly. Um, and that term is used as an umbrella term for anything LGBT. So you could be trans and gay and say you're queer. I like using that term a lot. Um, it's probably my favorite term to describe myself. Um, I like that, just saying that I'm queer, just kind of existing in that way. You don't need to label yourself, but also your labels can change. There's no problem with thinking that you're bisexual a few months later thinking you're lesbian or you're gay and then you realize you're pansexual just exist you're figuring yourself out and there is absolutely nothing wrong with changing your labels or giving yourself no label at all but if you're unsure just let it happen just do what feels right think what feels right and not try to force yourself into a label I'm able to acknowledge a girl who is pretty and attractive, not just her face, but her body and curves, etc. Sometimes I wonder if I'm bisexual, but I have no desire to be sexual with a girl. What do you think about this? Sexuality and attraction really varies. You can be romantically attracted to somebody. You can be emotionally attracted to somebody. You can be sexually attracted to somebody. You can also be a guy who thinks that other guys are handsome, but not like them or like vice versa or anything like that so you can think that women 
are beautiful and everything like that and just see that as a human being there's nothing wrong and nothing inherently sexual about seeing another human and appreciating that human whether you're gay straight bi anything whatever gender you can think that and maybe you are bisexual but there's also different types so you could just be like physically attracted to girls and nothing more or emotionally or sexually or whatever there's nothing wrong with that so if you think you're bi maybe explore that like i said no pressure on putting a label on it but if not that's also okay there's nothing wrong with just seeing somebody and appreciating their looks is anyone else in your family lgbt yes i have a lot of lgbt uncles and aunts and a few cousins when did you know you were gay? Kind of already answered this, but about 15 years old is when I started thinking that I was attracted to girls. What was the scariest thing before and after coming out? Um, I've kind of already mentioned a few other things, but I think I want to talk about this a little bit because the question after that is, did some people cut you off afterwards? Before I came out, I knew that my church was going to cut me off. Um, I just knew anybody that was involved in that church was probably going to cut me off and that took a lot because I was very involved in my church and I was scared I was that was a big thing for me this entire time was accepting myself and being afraid that like these people that I looked up so much to and had inspired me for so much of my life in the church they were telling us that being gay was wrong so if this person that I had looked up to my whole life was telling me that who I was was wrong was I wrong like, was this not okay for me to be like? So that was a hard thing before and after coming out. Before thinking that God hated me. Side note, he doesn't. Just saying, I could make a whole other video about that. Um, so before was that kind of nervousness. And after was accepting it. That those people weren't going to be in my life. And maybe that was for the better. If they couldn't accept me for who I was. And right now also, I'm in a church that loves and accepts me. And I'm very happy with that. Do you have any other LGBT friends? Almost all of my friends are LGBT, actually. I don't know how that happened. I just attract the gays. <laughs> uh, there were a few other questions, but I feel as if I kind of already answered them in other discussions, things like that. But if you have any more questions, you can leave them down below. Or if you want any more LGBT-related videos, let me know down below. I will also be linking some videos on my old channel that are LGBT-related. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did like it, maybe subscribe. I never say those things, but hey, if you want to do it, go right ahead. No pressure at all, though. And I'll see you in my next video.